Hi everyone, so on today's vlog I thought I would talk about a subject that I know all of you are going to have to deal with and all of you are probably dealing with if you're early on in your pregnancy and that is how the hell do you do a night out when no one else knows you're pregnant and everyone is expecting you to be a bit boozy. Now, one of the things about me and any friends or family watching this know this about me is I am a complete party girl. I'm the sort of girl that um, would be out two, three, four times a week. Um, most of the time it probably involved a nice dinner with friends and a couple of bottles of wine and then I will always be the one that will suddenly suggest we go out dancing or will suggest we do some buka shots. I know. You would have thought I would have grown up by now. One of the things I found really, really difficult when I found out I was pregnant was what the hell I was going to do when suddenly people wanted to go out partying and obviously I haven't told them yet that I'm pregnant um, and they will just expect me to be drinking and partying the night away. And I just know that my friends would become really suspicious if we went out and I didn't drink anything. They knew I was trying for a baby, but I didn't necessarily want to tell them kind of so early on that I was pregnant because right at the beginning you keep it to yourself just to make sure that everything's kind of safe and all going to plan. So I had to come up with a plan as to what I was going to do. So some really good top tips for how to survive a night out when you're pregnant. There are loads of excuses you can use for not drinking. Um, believe me, I've looked them up. <laughs> one, one good excuse is to just pretend you maybe have not been very well and you're on antibiotics. Lots of people know that you can't drink when you're on, on antibiotics, so if you tell friends that, hey, you haven't been well, the doctor's put you on antibiotics, you can't drink tonight, that's usually quite a good excuse. It kind of depends if you feel comfortable lying to your friends. I mean, it's a good lie, it's none of their business you're pregnant, and hey, you know, they'll realise why you lied when a couple of months later you tell them. But that's one way to do it. Another way to avoid the awkward why aren't you drinking question is just to pretend that you have the hangover from hell. So just invent a night out that you had the night before where you drank shots and you danced on tables and you went mental and therefore this evening you cannot possibly drink a thing, you feel so ill. A lot of friends, especially if you're a party girl, will believe that. We've all had hangovers from hell, we all know how awful they can be, so that is a great excuse to get out of drinking. Another great way to deal with not having to drink alcohol on a night out is to actually be a little bit crafty. Now, no one is going to know if you are drinking a gin and tonic or a glass of tonic water. They literally look exactly the same. So all you have to do is order a drink, eliminate the booze, and your friends will be none the wiser. You still think you're guzzling back your alcoholic drink, and if you're a really good actress, you can even pretend to be a bit boozy after a couple of them. Another good excuse is to just pretend you have something really big happening at work the next day. We've all been in those situations where you have a huge presentation to give, perhaps you have a day chock-a-block full of meetings. Your friends will understand that. So you can just, when you meet them, say, guys, I'm being really good tonight. I know it's not like me, but I have the day from hell at work tomorrow. Really sorry, but we can have an awesome night out another time great way to get out of drinking. But if, like me, your friends are still the sort of people that are gonna order shots at the end of the night, then I have a really sneaky good trick on how to avoid this. If shots are being bought up and people are suggesting we do them, then very, very quickly get up and tell them you will order them. Run to the bar, and then depending on what shot's going to be ordered, you can tailor one especially for yourself. So for example, if your friends want Jaeger bombs, Order Jaeger bombs, but get a little shot glass full of Coca-Cola for you. It looks exactly the same as Jägermeister. They will not know any difference. Likewise, if they're ordering tequila, get a shot of water. It's quite easy. You just have to be a little bit crafty. So that's my advice on how to survive an alcoholic night out whilst you're pregnant. To so go out, have fun, and I will see you again soon with some more tips that I've learned along the way.